If you have a growing collection of any type of stationery, you know that it can be hard to keep track of everything that you have. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I cataloged my entire fountain pen and fountain pen ink collection using a free online tool. And at the end of this video, I'll share a link with you where you can download this template for yourself and use it to create your own swatch book and stationery catalog. My name is Mark and I go by Men Who Bullet. And as much as we love to showcase our amazing collections of pens and ink and other stationery, the reality is, is that you might not have the space to actually do so. And even if you do have it displayed, it can still be hard to know exactly what you have. Cataloging your stationery can actually be super helpful in making sure that you're not overbuying or duplicating what you already have, helping you strategically think about growing your collection, and also just being able to find what you actually have that's a part of your collection. Today, we're gonna do all of this by using Airtable. A quick introduction, Airtable is a low-code online product. It's kind of like Excel, but on steroids. It has the power of a database with the look of a spreadsheet, but have these amazing views that can really help you visualize exactly what you're trying to do with your project. I've actually used Airtable to organize my creative blog parties I used to throw in the past, and now I'm utilizing it to build out an amazing catalog and digital swatch book of all of my inks. I'll put a referral code for you down in the descriptions below if you're interested in checking out Airtable. It's available on your desktop, but it's also available mobily, so that way if you're out and about and need to check out what you have before you buy, you can do so. And what I love is that they're free plan allows you to do everything you need to do to create your pen catalog and your ink swatch book that we're going to create right now. Before we get started in the app, I like to do a little bit of pre-work to make sure we're prepared to get into this. The first thing is just making sure you understand what's the goal of the base that you're working on. In our case, we're looking to create a catalog of our fountain pens and also create a digital ink swatch book. It's important to also think about the type of information that you want to catalog inside of this. That way you can search and filter by it in the future. Let's start pretty basic today with our fountain pens. We'll be looking for these six things. First will be the name or the model of the pen, the brand, the nib size, what it looks like, some type of a photo or description, where it was purchased from, and also the cost. For our fountain pen inks, we're going to be looking for these things. The color name, the brand that it's from, a visual swatch, the colors of the ink, there may be more than one, and some ink qualities, like does it have a sheen, a shimmer, or is there any shading? I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, that way you can see everything as I'm creating it. The first thing you need to do is sign up for a free account. Again, that link is down in the descriptions for you down below. The first thing we need to do is create a new workspace. So we'll go ahead and name this workspace. And then inside of here, we're going to create a base. And this one is gonna be called Stationary Catalog. What I like is that you can customize the appearance of this base, we'll add a special color. There's also a whole list of icons. Let's go ahead and pick this one with the open book. I think that makes a lot of sense for what we're trying to do. There is a lot you can do with Airtable but for today, I'm only gonna cover the basics on how to create these catalogs. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and name this first tab, and we're gonna call it Fountain Pens. Each time you create a new tab, Airtable is gonna give you four fields to start with, but we're actually gonna customize each one of these with the topics that we wrote down before. The first one here is name. You can keep it or you can change it to model if you're interested just by double clicking into the title. We'll go ahead and double click into the header that says notes, and we're gonna change this to brand. There's also features of each one of these cells. We're actually gonna turn these into a single select, and that's gonna create a drop down menu of all the different brand names of the pens that we're going to be adding in here. If you want, you can add some of them now, or you can actually add them as you go if you need to. We're gonna change the assignee title here to nib size, and we're going to turn that into a single select. And what you can do here is add all the main types of the nib sizes. Whether you have them or not, I like just to have them available. Let's go ahead and add EF, F, M for medium, broad, and stub. Next where it says status, we're gonna change this to photo, and we're going to make this an attachment type. This is where we're going to be adding the photos of the pens to give you visuals of what your collection consists of. We'll go ahead and click on the plus, and this header is gonna say color and description, and this is going to be a single line text. We're just gonna manually type in the custom description or the color or material here. You could create another drop down if you wanted to, if it's a quality or something that you wanna track or filter by. Next, we're gonna add a drop down here here for purchase from, so that way I can track where I'm buying my pens from. And the last one is going to be cost. Here you can go ahead and switch it to currency. You can add your own currency symbol if you want to. You can actually track down to the penny, but I'm gonna go ahead and just choose the whole number. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and start adding some pen to our collection. You can choose to bring out your entire collection if you want to, or just a few at a time. So under pen name or model, we're gonna put Eco. I actually have a few of these. So there's gonna be multiple Ecos that are gonna be inside of here, but the nib size and the color description will be what differentiates it, and the picture, of course, too. We'll go ahead and add Twisby underneath the brand. Now, if you didn't add this one before, this is where you can add it. So you just type in the name and then click on Add Option, and now that will continue to show up moving forward. The nib size for this was a medium. It's already inside of there. We're going to add the photo of the pen in just a moment. Let's go ahead and move on to color description and I'll type in indigo blue and bronze. I purchased this from Atlas Stationers and it was $50. If you want to take pictures of your own pens, it's absolutely fine. I like to just grab them from the retailers and what's already online because those always look really nice. So let's go ahead and head over to Atlas Stationers. I can go ahead and find the pen that I have and then save that photo or screenshot it. We can go back over to our catalog now and click on the plus and attachments. And now you can drag or add the photo. Once you start to add more entries, I like to start grouping them together. Airtable makes this super easy to do. We can just go ahead over here to where it says group and I can choose to group by brand. Now as I'm adding more of the same brand, I can just click plus inside of here and it'll automatically group things together. Now this is where the fun happens. I wanna make this even more visual to see everything in my collection. Airtable has a number of views that you can create to visualize your information. For this, we're gonna choose gallery and we're gonna name this gallery fountain pens and click create. And as you can see, all of my pens and some of the descriptions are now showing up. So we can actually customize these cards, which we're gonna do by clicking on customize card. Automatically, it's choosing the image field to show this photo, and that's exactly what we want. A few little tweaks, we're gonna tap on the toggle for fit, and this will go ahead and fit the image to the space so we can see everything clearly. We can also toggle on and off different fields depending on what we want to see. We're gonna go ahead and toggle on brand, nib size, and color description, and we can toggle off image since it's already showing up big in the top of these cards. What's really cool about this is that now that I have this view, I can sort these by brand, I can sort these by nib size if I want, or I can even filter them down. So I can add a condition to a filter to only show my pens that have a fine nib. So that'll say where nib size is fine. And you'll see these are all of my pens that I have in my collection that have fine nibs. Now that we have all of our pens together, let's go ahead and add our inks. Since this space is all for my stationary catalog, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new tab by hitting the plus and add, and then creating something new and setting this up. So across the top, I'm gonna switch this to color name, which will be a single line text. The brand will be a single dropdown for all the different brands that we'll be adding. I'm gonna add a swatch as an attachment so we can add those through. For colors, I'm gonna choose multi-select. This allows you to select more than just one option versus that single select dropdown. Ink colors are something that I want to be able to sort and filter by, so that's one reason I'm doing this. I can add some colors now if I want to, and then I can add more as I'm going through. I also wanna track those ink qualities, so we're gonna do a single select for our sheen, a single select for shimmer, and for shading, we're gonna do single select, but I'm gonna add in high, medium, low, or a dash, which means no shading at all. For the ink swatches, I'm gonna grab screenshots from offline, but if you're a person that has an analog swatch book, you could photograph these yourself. The best place to go for a lot of these swatches and information on the inks are going to be on the retailer's website. They usually have great photos and perfect swatches of each of the inks that they have. If the brand website doesn't have everything that you need, here are two resources that I use to help me fill out my digital swatch book. The first is mountainofink.com. These had great ink reviews, good swatches, and also listed out the qualities of the ink. And vaness1938.com is another blog I loved. These had great swatches on them and in-depth ink details. Once you've added a few of your inks into this catalog, now we can go ahead and start grouping them by type and adding even more. Now to create that digital swatch book, we'll go ahead and create a gallery collection. I love this view. We'll go in and customize these cards just a little bit so all the information is showing that we need. My favorite part of this is definitely being able to filter these down to take a look at what I have or see what else I need to add to my collection. For instance, if I wanna see what colors I have, I can filter where the color has any of and then choose the different colors that I've added in. What's cool about using Airtable is that you can continue to build on this as you go along. For instance, some other ideas might be to add a date for the last time that you used a pen. You could also add check marks for when you have a pen that's inked versus not. And you could even go even deeper using the data from the pens and the ink to show what's going with what, but that's a video for another day. 
If you are as excited and giddy as I am about cataloging your fountain pens and creating a digital ink swatch book, then you can click on the link down below and sign up for your free version of Airtable and do everything you saw in today's video. Or if you want, I've actually made this entire base a template that you can download from the Airtable universe. This will have everything that you need to start adding your fountain pens and your inks into this collection. I'm interested to hear from you. What other things might we add to our stationary catalog? I'm maybe thinking about notebooks next, but let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for hanging out. Happy planning.